<laughs> my pleasure to be here tonight. I want to share with you something that's very, very close to my heart, and that is improv comedy. And I'll tell you something about a person that didn't mean to, but you may know Bud Freeman. He didn't mean to mess things up, but Bud Freeman messed everything up. Bud Freeman, you may know, is the owner of the Improv Comedy Club on Melrose. A super guy. I like him a lot. Nice man. But the improv is not improv, it's stand-up. So every time I say anything about improv comedy, people will say, Oh, I don't know how to work on a routine. You don't have to. Improv is extemporaneous. And it's easy. Now, I don't think any, I'm certainly not going to be a Tina Fey. I'm not going to be a John Belushi or a Jim Belushi. But I'm going to be Fred Moon and I'm going to play the games and I'm going to have fun. Let's take you back to kindergarten. When you go back to kindergarten, you go into kindergarten and say, how many kids in here can be funny, stand up, and, and, and say some jokes and, and, and laugh and have fun and dance and sing. Now everybody raise your hand that can do all of that. And every hand in the class will go up. Well, let's go back to kindergarten because that's who we are. You go to high school and you say, how many kids in here can sing and dance? One or two hands will go up. They beat that out of you. Let's get back to being kindergartners. Let's get back to being improvers and fun, fun havers. Let's be fun havers. Let's just have some fun. And that's what improv comedy should be about. The definition of improv comedy simply is just being yourself and playing a game, a comedy game, and it will be funny without having to work at it. You don't have to work at it. You don't have to try. Just do it. I've taught improv comedy in different places on the East Coast and back here. And some of the, some of the people have become semi-famous. And one of, one of the things that I did that I'm most proud of is for two, two semesters I taught improv comedy at the College of William & Mary in Williamsburg, Virginia, the second oldest college in the United States. So that, and I just had fun. So improv comedy is not stand-up. It's amazing to me the number of people that think it is. But let's just get started, shall we? First of all, right where you're sitting, we're going to do a little thing called Barnyard Symphony. And what I would like to do is to just, what, what is your favorite animal? What is your favorite animal? It could be a domestic animal. Thank you very much. <coughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> A monkey. Thank you very much. This is this is Barnyard Symphony. When I do like this, everybody's really loud. Then you soften it up. When I do like this, stop. And then I'll point to you individually. And eventually, if we were around here for about three weeks, we could actually have a tune. But we're, we're just getting started. So here we go. You ready? Everybody ready? by the way, are people. And for the next, I'd like Tammy and Bill to come forward. This is a game we call Dr. Brain. And they are, two heads are always better than one. So if you two can kind of just touch shoulders here. And they are one person. They, two heads are always better than one. And what, you can ask any question, any question, whatever. Sensible, nonsensical, about physics, about anything. Because Dr. Brain knows the answer. And Dr. Brain will answer your question one word at a time <laughs> in sequence. And when you are through, you must oh. stop. Oh my gosh. Wow. Any questions for Dr. Brain? What How color is the sun? How old is Toastmasters, Dr. Brain? You start. I don't fully remember, fully. <laughs> 
remember. But I think it was about 1928. Thank you very much. Woo! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So smart. I have another question. I heard one over here. What color is the sun? What color, Dr. Brain? What color is the sun? Yesterday, I looked at the sky and saw brightness up there. <laughs> Dr. Brain is so philosophical, don't you think? May I have one more question for Dr. Brain? Dr. Brain is so Why smart. do cats meow? Dr. Brain, why do cats meow? They know something that we humans can't comprehend. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much. We have two people up here, and what's the relationship between these two people? Just give me a relationship. What, what could it be? Members. Pardon me? They're members. Of? Members of? Toastmasters. The leaders. Something different. Humans. Pardon me? They're both horse riders. Space oh. aliens. Cousins. They're, they're space aliens, Cousins. okay. Yeah, like that. yeah, and their relationship is? They're cousins. Yeah. They're cousins. Okay, they're space aliens mm -hmm. and they're cousins. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and this is a, this, it, and Paul's already got started. And, and this is a game we call alphabet. So, Paul, I want you to start this one. And what you have to do is you start a sentence when you're talking to your fellow space a alien with an A. And you can go one or two sentences, but you start your sentence with an A. Then you re reply with a B. Start your sentence with a B. And then you can say you come back C. So it might be, although, although I think you're cute, but I am cute. Can't you see how cute I am? Don't you know how cute? Anyway, you something like that. Something. But anyway, yeah, you can do whatever you want to. Hey, just, I'm sorry, I didn't explain it right. My fault. <laughs> a funny thing happened to me on my way to Earth. <laughs> but what could that be? I decided, nope. C. C. can't you understand? <laughs> Don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Everybody knows what I'm talking about. Funny that you say that, because I don't. <laughs> Go on. How can I explain to you what I'm trying to say? I tell you all the time. <laughs> Jam, damn it, you don't. <laughs> Kids. Largely, I don't agree with you about this. Man, why not? None of this makes sense. Oh, come on. Please, bro. <laughs> Thank you very much. Improv comedy is just a lot of fun. It's just enjoying yourself. It's getting back to being a, being a, a child. I'm just getting up. And as Bill said, I can't be embarrassed anymore. Well, no, I so can be embarrassed, but I, won't, I know I won't die from it. But you won't die from it. Okay. So just get up, have fun, and enjoy.